So here's a quote from Don Keithley. Needing a scripture verse for everything has stunted our growth. Eye has not seen nor ear has not heard the things that God has prepared for those who love him. But God has revealed them to us through the spirit. The spirit is revealing what you won't find a verse for. Now, that's not to say that the Bible can't be used and God can't speak to us through it. He can. And I use the Bible a lot in my teachings to give us a reference point for where we start and to what God has said. And also from where perhaps our perspectives need to be deconstructed and, and our minds renewed over certain teaching and doctrines that we may have been conditioned and programmed by. But the reality is the spirit of truth and Jesus as the truth will reveal truth to us in relationship and not just by going to a Bible and trying to find a Bible verse for it. Religion has required a verse, and as they view the verse, it is to control and limit what we can and can and not believe. If you don't see it in the Bible, don't believe it, is what I was brought up with. And of course, we know that isn't true. If you think about it logically, there's so many things that we use today, like this equipment, for us, for instance, that aren't in the Bible. But it, when it comes to doctrines and theology, it's like sola scriptura, a Bible alone is not what God told us to expect. Jesus said, my sheep will follow my voice. He didn't say my sheep will read my book. And I believe that this whole concept is being exposed for what it is today, religion at its worst. There I said it. And Don Keithley said it, not me, but I would echo and endorse that. Now, this is a Francoise de Toit quote. Mankind is not designed to live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Now, remember, when it says word, it's not talking about Bible. It's talking about what God says, some of which may be recorded for us to read today, but we're not the audience that God spoke to at that point. But he, we can be the audience that he speaks to today. So the mouth of God is the source of the authentic word, Deuteronomy 8.3. The term mouth of God places the emphasis on the source, the eye of the fountain, not the diluted opinion of human tradition and interpretation that we have today. This is an excerpt from Mike's current teaching series, Restoring First Love. Get the full-length videos every month only at eg.freedomark.org slash first dash love. Every word in the Hebrew is the word kol, K-O-L, which speaks of the word in its most complete form. Jesus is the perfect word. John 1.1, 1, 1, John 5.39, Hebrews 1.1-3. 1, 1 the outcome is predictable. Both the seed and the soil understand the language of rain. The incarnation mirrors and awakens the incorruptible seed within you and is destined to accomplish the eternal purpose of God. The soil of the earth, the flesh of man, shall again unveil the image and likeness of God. Now, the key there is that when God speaks, it doesn't just disappear. It continues as a resonant frequency, as an echo within us that actually can continue to work in us until it awakens us and awakens that truth. So when God has spoken, that may be in you and in me. But it needs to be awakened. And it's the spirit that awakens that truth that we mirror the reflection of who we are in God. John 5, 39 to 40, you search the scriptures for in them you think you have eternal life. And that's really important. This is Jesus speaking. And he was speaking to the Jewish people who had a Bible or a Tanakh, which contained the Torah and various other things. And they were searching them, thinking that in them they would find the words of eternal life or find eternal life. In these and these are they which testify of me. So what is in the Bible which points to Jesus and testifies to Jesus shows that we should be finding Jesus, not searching for them in a book. But you are not willing to come to me that you may have life. So there was the source of life, the living word of God made flesh dwelling among them. And they were still looking for the answers in a religious system following a law based book. Now, Jesus made it clear that they could come to him and find life. And this is really, really important for us 
that we're not going to find life solely in a book. We need the source of that living word, which is Jesus, who is sharper than every two edged sword. So let's follow Jesus, not the Bible. Jesus said, follow me. And that was what he was trying to get them to do to find true life, because Jesus is the door that opens a way to the father. And we can't come to the father any other way than through Jesus and through that door that which he's opened. Even though people might not exactly understand the name of Jesus, but he is the door. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.